are back here on Girl Talk. Emily Burden has joined us from Gigi's. We're very, Gigi, Gigi, I love Lori. Gigi. Lori's like, you know last year that black and white dress? I like, oh, love my Gigi. God. That's so <laughs> I wish I could remember. We have so many. Oh my gosh. Now you have, before we talk about Gigi's, you have three little ones, I do. boys or girls? I have a girl, um, a four-year-old girl and then two boys. And three. what are their names? Audrey, Hayne, and Wyatt. Oh, oh, how great. 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 So really, Gigi's and um, the boutique, it's a respite for you. It is. My sister, <laughs> <laughs> I go calm it is like it's calm fun. Fun. Exactly. <laughs> It's so quiet there. Yeah. My office is very calming. <laughs> Um, I don't have a little one saying, Mommy, Mommy, Mommy. Until we come in the shop, say, find me this, find me that. Well, but you and your sister it. own it. We do. Anna and I own it. And she, um, she also has three little ones. Hers are one, 20 year old one-year-old twins that are one okay and um, a one-month-old and what are so, their names they are addison pepper and vivian i, I, I gotta tell that. you though when you walk it. into Gigi's, and i've done this I, i'm a really bad shopper because i get overwhelmed by everything i do too every time i go into Gigi's, mm -hmm. you all come up and say in it in the most appropriate kind way can i help you mm -hmm. and you're like you know deer in headlight and then you they, they it's not like they're it's aggressive it's so helpful and then they, they then dress they, you. They dress you, and you're like, that's oh my I gosh, I would they never do. have picked that out. It's beautiful. That's but nice I also that and that is so thank you. Our girls are so helpful and friendly, and they, they love, are. I mean, they're not intimidating when you no. walk in the door. I mean, they're just welcoming. The I, other thing is, I think that they're Sorry, really, I can totally piggy this one. <laughs> yeah, don't piggy this one. The other thing is, I think one of the things that they do is, um, you've got such a consistent clientele now. Yes. That they, they'll say, yeah. oh, Deb, there's a dress that looks like you, yeah. and call you when you've got it. Talk to us a little bit about what you do for the few people who may not have been at Gigi's. We um, we are a women's clothing store, so we have a lot of women's clothes. We are, we're 2,300 square feet, so we're shoes, a pretty big. Purses, we do shoes, bags, belts, lots of jewelry. Scarves. Um, tons of fun accessories like the little MEJ headbands. Yes. My, fun, uh, my favorite accessory going into fall is going to be fingernail. We're doing Butter London, which is a new, it's a fingernail polish. It's a kind of a nice. Really? Oh. What's it called? Yeah. Butter. 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 I like butter. No, yeah. And like just new colors. New colors or what? Marketing is everything, right? My are butter right? at the moment. But, I like um, they look yeah. like butter. They come out with, you know, the fall, winter, each yeah. month, um, or each season. They I come like out your flip their, flops. My, these are tiki's. We can yep. do these as Those well. Well, I was going to, one thing I was going to is after exactly. my surgeries, I had um, I had went through a breast cancer thing with surgeries. I walked in being very embarrassed because putting on clothes was it was just different. My body looked different when I went into Gigi's. Oh my gosh! I walked out with five dresses that I felt like a queen in, and that made such an impression to me because it. I was I was scared and, and self self confidence, yeah. your self image, and, and and I would never ever ever have um, have realized that until I had to go through this, and and that makes a big difference. So compliments I to love, you. Yeah. Thank you. I love hearing that. I mean, yeah. we just um, the girls that work there, they really are so sweet and helpful, and we want customers um, coming in and feeling that that because I feel like boutiques can be intimidating. Yes. Um, oh, oh and my kind of snotty or just not nice Big and time. we don't want that at all that's not Bluffton and that's not no. who we are and, and, and so stuff we, on a rack looks different on and they know they can size up your exactly body right. yes you they know do. you look at it you're like that is so cute and so mean you put it on you're like Ooh. and then they'll go grab something right. that is right. you and that would look correct for what your is body. you said nail polish is really in this year for okay. the for fall what are, what kind of clothing what are you seeing what should we pay attention to if we had to only Where buy three pieces if we had to only buy three pieces, sorry. Um, <laughs> for fall, sorry. I think the color for fall, it's going to be lots of green. But I think Emerald it's green, green. Pantone no, no, color no. of the year. Um, I think it's, it's going to go some mossy kind of an olive green. Ooh. So oh, back to nature. Yes. Mm -hmm. Love that. Um, that's I think that's color. going to be a big color and lots of leather or leather trim things. I mean, I don't, you know, here in the low country, I don't see us wearing a lot of right. leather, but leather trimmed. I like that. Um, I think that's Faux cool. fur or mm -hmm. faux fur line things. Of course. What about um, dress? As far as dresses, are we still seeing a lot of dresses or are we seeing I think we're going to see less dresses for the fall. Okay. Um, more pants. And, and more pants. And the, of course, we'll keep with lots of denim. Are we going mm -hmm. skinny jean or are we going wide? Um, both. No. Thankfully, <laughs> we're going to go out of the skinny a little bit. Good. But, Sorry. Um, but the colors, less color denim and more of just the indigos. Okay. Kind of going back to the it. blue, the, yeah. which is nice. I'm kind of ready mm -hmm. for that yeah. after the High few. waist, low waist? Um, both. I think most are doing kind of a mid, which is about an eight inch rise. But um, higher is definitely coming back. For so long, it was low and you're just pulling up your pants. Oh, yeah. Well, your time. Time. Yeah. How do you and your sister sort of divvy up the responsibilities of the business? I was going to ask that. Yeah. And what's the background to uh -huh. all of a sudden open a great retail I store. like clothes and we could. Fashion's my thing. Yeah. Um, Anna and I, 
five, six, I guess six years ago, she, I lived in Colorado at the time, she was visiting me, so we talked about it and we wanted to do it. She is, is more of the um, creative merchandising marketing type of person, and I am more of the business. The business side. The boring. You're the left brain. The smart. Um, so I'm more of the business. She's that. We do the buying together. We both have a different style, and so I think that that's helps. That's good. good. That's nice. um, did you go to school in Colorado? I went, no, I went to school in Charleston. Okay. Charleston. I just lived in Colorado for six years okay. after wow. college. All right. Um, it's supposed to be beautiful out there. I've yeah. never been to Colorado. So were you in Boulder? Or? We were in Denver and then Steamboat Springs. Oh, oh I love it. Nice. Sorry. Okay. I know. <laughs> um, which is where I was when we opened the store, and I just kind of traveled to market to meet her. How okay. long has it been open for? I can't five years. Five years. Mm -hmm. Only just, five years. Right. It five. seems like you've taken over Bluffton. I mean, mm -hmm. everywhere is. Well, the location, if you don't know, it's yeah. right downtown on Calhoun yeah. Street, mm -hmm. which you can't beat it. No. I love Calhoun no. Street. Is it but so you must have paid. I think you paid attention to your clients too. You paid attention to your customers, and and that's I think why you've been so successful. We really. You know, I mean, we opened at the worst time you could have opened. Oh yeah. It. We had. No, I mean. We had already done everything, bought everything, and the economy crashed. So we had to go ahead and open and see what happened. Thankfully, you were advertising the best places too, just so you know. Don't get me monthly. And I saw on Facebook, just real quick, find them on Facebook because you guys do a great service to your clients. We do. Posting items that are new in the store, and then I saw some of your fans or friends or whatever go back. Please hold that. I'll be right there. It's gone within days. But that's our prices are so good that you put stuff up and they're just. So if you can't gone. make it down to Calhoun Street every week or a couple times a week, I need to just do go that. on Facebook. Do you, are you, you on Facebook? No, 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 no. I do have a big sale stuff. next week. We yeah. have our big semi-annual sale all spring summer. Which is probably week, this week. Off. I'm going to well, call well, you it about. It starts the 31st, so July oh, 31st. Okay, good, okay, good, good, good. This week, yeah. It's Wednesday to Saturday. All spring summer is 40% off. Awesome. That's kind of fun. Get to Calhoun Street. I love it. We're going to take a quick break, and we're going to come back with Island Tire, which is actually where we are today. So stay with us. We'll be right back.